We have covered the basics, so let's get started. Make sure you have the desired D-Racks and keyboard connected to the console before you begin. Follow this explanation along with the on-screen guide. Switch on the console with the rear-located PSU switch. Once the console has started, press the Master Screen button. This will bring the Master section to the screen view. On the Master Screen view, you will see a top row of buttons. Using the touch screen, press the File button. This will expand down the screen with several options, including loading and saving sessions. If you don't have a session to load, then please press Session Structure. This is where you can configure the busing structure of the console to meet your requirement. When the Session Structure panel is open, you will notice a large Default All button. This button is recommended to ensure any historical settings are removed from the console and your session. Input Channels. The number is fixed to 48. The SD9 is a very powerful small console and can deliver 48 full flexi channels. Each of these can be either dual mono inputs or complete stereo channels. If comparing to other consoles, this is equal to 96 channels of full processing. AUX and GROUP buses. Busing can be user-defined. There are 16 flexi buses that can be allocated between mono and stereo. Just like the channels, all 16 user-defined buses can be stereo. This is equal to 32 buses on almost any other console. To adjust the values, simply touch the desired bus and use the touch and turn control to increase or reduce the current bus count. A convenient resource counter is located at the bottom of the panel, showing the number of remaining buses and processing channels. In addition to the user-defined buses, you have a master bus that can be either stereo or LCR and a 12 by 8 output matrix. Once you are happy with the busing configuration, press the restructure button. After your session has configured, it is recommended you save your session as instructed to do so. The operation of the SD9 can be customized to suit your preference or the type of job it is being used for. The master screen section of the video explains more on the options and settings, but in the meantime, here's a short list of suggested options to set. On the Surface tab, enable Auto Cancel Second Function. Also on the Surface tab, switch on Bank Switch Assign Screen. On the Solos tab, both Solo Assigns AUX to Faders and Solo Assigns Channel should be switched on. And finally, enable Status Indicators and System Alerts in the Status tab. 